right, what's up? It's Don. And John. And together it's Don and John's Picks. That's right. We love football as well as music, and we're going to show you how to make some dough responsibly. John, what are we starting out with? Thank you, John. We're going to start it off here with Thursday Night Football, Cardinals, Seahawks, what are you thinking on this one, Don? John, these two teams, they just they play offense. That's it. That's it. They don't play D. <sighs> Man, this is a hard pick because I just had to sit through an absolutely brutal Bills loss to the Cardinals. What do you think of that? <sighs> no words. Despite that, I'm going with the Cardinals. I got to do it. I'm sorry. So that's that's me. Who you, who are you taking, John? Don, I hear your pick, and I'm going to tell you right now, I absolutely hate it. We're going with the Seahawks here. Russell Wilson, he's coming back with a fury. He's going to be throwing touchdowns left and right. DK Metcalf is going to run over like four people, and it's going to be a bloodbath. Give me the Seahawks, minus three, all day, baby. Wow, okay, first episode of, of Don and John's picks, and we're already split on the first game. Wow. Okay, we'll see how it works out. Over under 58. You know what? I'm going to throw in on the over on this. I would almost never bet an over 58 ever in an NFL game. I see this game cashing over at 60 easily, easily. Okay, next up, let's fast forward to Falcons at the Saints in the Superdome. Plus four and a half for the uh, Falcons, minus four and a half for the Saints. John, what you thinking? Don, I'm taking – I am backing the Falcons here with the points. Four plus four and a half. I think that Jameis Winston, who we expect to get the start, is going to come out. He's probably going to throw three touchdowns, and then he's going to throw eight interceptions, and the Falcons will be winning me some money this week. Lock it in. I got to agree with you. I'm Falcons all day on this. No Drew Brees. It's going to be tough. Jameis, yeah, I don't think so. And uh, Taysom Hill, I mean – Anytime he's in the game, we everyone knows what's going to happen. It's going to be some kind of run-pass option. Yeah, we know. Yeah, I'm going to touch this over-under real quick. 51 and a half. I, I got to go over on that. Okay, moving right along here to the Packers and Colts. Donnie, Aaron Rodgers has had a couple slow games here, but the Colts, I don't know. Week to week, it's tough to keep track of what these guys are doing. Phillip Rivers can be sneaky good. We got the Colts minus two and a half over under 51 and a half. What are you backing here, Don? You know, Aaron Rodgers, I'm not going to lie. I feel like the guy doesn't try sometimes, but they still got a high flying offense. I'm taking the Packers and I'm taking the over. I am also taking the Packers with the points. Give me them two and a half points. I'm ready to see Aaron Rodgers discount double check all over the field. Phillip Rivers, I don't care how many kids he's got. Not enough kids. Not enough kids to beat Aaron Rodgers. What's the over-under on the amount of NFL graphics that point out he has nine kids compared to Aaron Rodgers, zero? I believe the over-under is at uh, one and a half. What are you backing there? Uh, I got to take the under. They're going to say it once, but not twice. No way. No way. That's the prop of the week, actually. Prop bet of the week. Over, under, one and a half times they talk about how many kids Rivers has. I think I'm with you there. I think they'll keep it to just a nice, simple, concise one time. We're mentioning that Philip Rivers does indeed have nine children. Good for you, Philip Rivers, but you're still going to lose this weekend. You mean you no, said that 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 I smiled. <laughs> At least. <laughs> At least that many. Congrats on the sex, Philip Rivers. Yeah, <laughs> ah, spread. All right, now we're going out to the desert. Monday night in Vegas, brand new stadium. No one gets to be there. Are they allowing fans in Vegas? No fans in Vegas. No fans in Vegas. Brand new stadium. Ha <laughs> ha, sucks to suck. Anyway, we got Chiefs, the Raiders. Minus six and a half Chiefs, plus six and a half for the Raiders. What's, what's over under 56 and a half? What are you eyeing up, John? Call me crazy. I'm taking the Raiders here with the points, plus six and a half. I mean, I'm expecting a shootout. Touchdown here, touchdown there. Travis Kelsey, he's going to catch two of them. Maybe check that out as a prop. The Raiders will still pull it out with the points, six and a half. And I think I'm taking the over here. 
Donnie. You know what? I was Kansas City, Kansas City, Kansas City. If we're talking about the spread, I think I'm going Raiders too. Will Kansas City win? Yes. If they didn't lose the first time to the Raiders, I'd say this is their trap game. The Raiders aren't going to sweep Kansas City in the divisional series. It's, it's just not going to happen. But it's going to be close. I'll take the six and a half. If I'm really throwing down on it, I might buy a point, hit it up to seven and a half, protect yourself. You might need it. Also love the over. Love it. Like it. Love it. Want more of it. Okay. John, take us to Monday night. Monday, Monday, Monday night. I got brought up for some Monday night football. Cowboys playing guitars. Yeah, that one's Sunday Night Football. I almost sang that. Waiting all day for Sunday night. Watching football all day. Waiting for more football. I've been just waiting through all these stupid games for the one game. That's all I've been waiting for. Tom Brady. Jared Goff. Antonio Brown. Ronald McDonald on the D-line. Yep. Ronald Jones, running back. <laughs> you got Ronald on Ronald. And Aaron Donald. Ronald, hey, yeah. Ronald and Donald. Ronald against Donald. How many times will Donald tackle Ronald? Over, under, uh, two and a half. Look for that prop. <laughs> okay, moving on to Monday Night Football. We got the Rams at the Bucks. Tom Brady, he's got his boy Antonio Brown finally on the team. Seeing some flashes here and there, but I still kind of see a low-scoring affair here with the defenses we're looking at. We got the Bucks minus three and a half, over under forty-seven and a half. What are you thinking here, Don? Yeah, first and foremost, if I'm I'm betting my strongest bet, I'm going in immediately with the under. Rams got like three plays on offense. They run them, they never work, and they don't score points. They have a good defense though. Under all day. Bucks got to take them all day, too. They're hot. Brady doesn't have two bad games in a row. Came back and stomped the Panthers last week. Yeah, I feel the Rams struggling to even hang in this game, but I'm still taking the under. For this one, I got to take Tom Brady, sadly. But I'm taking him. Minus three and a half. I think the defenses prevail here. Antonio Brown having a quiet day. He just had himself in the news this week, and uh, he's got he's got to settle down a bit if he's going to make this work. He's destroying surveillance cameras, throwing stuff. He farts in people's faces. What will he do next? I don't know. The man has no filter, no limit to what he will do, except for this week. I don't think he's going to do much. <laughs> so I'm also taking the under 47 and a half. Log it in. All right, folks, you know what time it is. Here we go with the Luscious, Luscious Lock, Lock of, of the, the Week. week. Yeah. Oh. yeah. That's right. It's the Luscious Lock of the Week. It's the Dolphins in the Mile High City. Denver Broncos. Spreads only at minus three and a half. I... Love this. Denver stinks, and they're playing a tough defense. Miami's defense is too good, and they got Tua, and Tua's been playing. He's been playing. He's going to keep playing. Throw If you got one bet all week, either this one or what John's about to give you, Captain John's anchor pick. That's right. I got an anchor pick for you here, folks. If all else fails, I got you covered here right at the bottom of your ticket. That's right. We are going to be looking at the Bengals at the football team and uh, more or less the, f the the toilet bowl pick of the week here. I'm liking the Bengals here. I think Joe Burrow is ready to have a breakout game against a Alex Smith that uh, sadly after a heroic comeback just looking flat out there. His bionic leg is uh, not quite getting it done. He needs to update the software in that thing. I don't think they're going to get it done by this weekend. There's not enough time to get that kind of update figured out for his bionic leg. Th there's just not enough time. So young, swift, hot Joe Burrow is coming in, and he's going to get it done for the Bengals. And that is your Captain John's anchor pick of the week. 
Thanks, ITV watchers. We'll see you next week with Don and John's pick.